Hey, in the past, we talked about wiring an LED light circuit. And I was doing that inside on my, just my little desk with a test battery. Now we're here with the full Victron system, still tabletops, not in the van, but to give you another idea of how everything is interconnected here. Uh, I do have my 12 port uh, Blue Sea Systems 12 volt uh, fuse block. I have a switch and just one LED puck light to give you an idea of how that's gonna go. Uh, you may have seen, I talked about that the second slot here in my A Lynx distributor, 40 amp mega fuse, will be what covers the 12 volt blue C um, panel there. Again, make sure your system is off before you make any changes. Uh, this is gonna be really easy, so let's just jump right into it. We're gonna hook up the negative wire. This is six gauge. Let's take the nut off. Put your six gauge five sixteenths lug on the post. Washer, lock washer nut. I bet you figured out it's gonna say that by now. Go ahead and loosen this positive here. And now tighten this negative. Again, follow their torque specs. No torque wrench for me, so making a good educated guess. Put our little connector back on. And go for the positive. I did my math for you for how I came up with my fuse size on the Blue Sea system panel there. So just know that I have a two amp fuse handy, more than enough for just this one switch and LED puck light test, but that's what I'll need for my group of four LED puck lights. Get that down. Double check, negative, positive, the negative and the positive. We have the negative and the positive here. I chose uh, slot number two, just cause it's on this side. Uh, you've got your negative bar, positive for number two. Uh, let's see, by the way, these are a number 10 studs. So six gauge number 10. And uh, this is, these are number 32s, I think. So we'll put the cover back on our Lynx distributor. We'll turn, uh, let's see, we'll turn on our system. You'll hear a few things turning on. There goes the MultiPlus. The servo takes 10, 15 seconds, a little bit longer. It's looking for Wi-Fi. It also broadcasts its own Wi-Fi. It hosts that web page for the touch panel which you can do with an iPad. You don't have to buy their touch panel, iPad or similar touch device, or if you've got a web browser on a computer screen, that'll work just fine as well. So I've got my little two amp fuse here, not in the slot as you can see, which means no power to this LED light, right? Okay, if I put my number two in slot two, there we go. Now I have power to this light. Turn it on. This is the dimmer switch we looked at before. And there you go. That's it. 
That's everything to show you about the simplicity of this panel connecting to the Lynx system. We'll see you on the next one.